According to a Billboard article this week, Pink's tour is currently the highest-grossing female tour ever. Beyoncé's Renaissance tour, which brought in $579.8 million last year, was eclipsed by the Who New Hitmaker's Summer Carnival, which brought in $585 million globally. But to put things in context, Renaissance performed 56 shows, whereas the Summer Carnival tour performed 97, even though Pink 45 now has the highest-grossing female tour ever. Taylor Swift's The Era's Tour will officially surpass her once the figures come in. The Era's Tour is predicted to be the most profitable tour ever, with a total income of about $2 billion, while official data are still pending. Over the past 15 years, Pink's live singing and aerial stunts have made her a formidable live act. She is the largest female touring artist in Australia, where she has sold millions of tickets. The hashtag Summer Carnival Tour has the highest ticket sales of any Australian female artist's tour, she wrote in a March post. We just did it together on the Summer Carnival Tour, but no one else has ever played 20 stadium shows across Australia and New Zealand in a single tour, she added. Over the course of six tours we have sold over 3.1 million tickets, the most ever sold by an international performer in Australia and New Zealand. Even though I don't frequently run out of things to say, you truly got me this week. I am always grateful for your support, and I consider it an honor to work with you every day. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Cheers to another two decades of being together. Pink has long regarded Australia as her second home, and in February 2023, she said that she was looking into becoming a citizen. I am not even kidding when I say that last year I was considering applying for citizenship she revealed on 60 Minutes. If we're going somewhere, Carrie, that's where we're going, I said. I decided to investigate it a little. Australia will be such a special time. According to an insider, the doctor ordered them to set up their much-desired dream base down under where they can escape the wintry months. It follows the singer-songwriter's outburst at ageist insurance firms that refuse to insure her as she ages before every tour. They've tried to say no a lot, I told them that they're ageist, she said in February. I told them to look at all these dudes in the NFL who do all this crazy stuff and you insure them, but somebody pointed out there are many of them but just one of me and I can't be replaced. Even so, they didn't mind when I was 25, and I've become stronger since then, she said. I'm in the best shape of my life. Trustfall, Pink's most recent album, came out in 2023. It peaked at number one in Australia, Canada, and the UK and number two on the Billboard 200 list.